Hi everybody, it's Miss Annie from the Youth Room at the Wakefield Library. It's Wednesday, it's 2 p.m., and I am back for another Wednesday Read Aloud. Uh, this week we are starting a new book, and this is actually going to be our final book of our summer reading program um, that I'll be doing for the Wednesday Read Alouds. And this one is Meet Yasmin. This is written by Sadia Faruqi, and it was illustrated by Hatem Ali. And this follows Yasmin, who's this really spirited second grader, and she just wants to try all of these different things in life. So she tries out being an explorer, being an artist, being a builder, being a fashionista, um, and just goes on some really fun adventures. And it's all accompanied by this really beautiful and brightly colored artwork, too. So I think we'll have a lot of fun, and we will read the first half of this today, and we'll finish the book up next week, which is actually when our program is going to come to a close. Uh, we do have one more special program coming up for you on Zoom, and this is going to be for uh, preschoolers, kindergartners, elementary school kids, and that's going to be our Stuffed Animal Pet Show. That's going to be happening on Thursday at 11 a.m. on August 13th, so that'll be next Thursday. And we are inviting anyone to come and show off their favorite teddy bear or stuffed animal that they have and um, just tell us what makes their stuffed animal special. So everyone will get a chance to present and we'll play some games, we'll do some crafts, and we will also have a special award ceremony that we'll do at the end of that event where uh, all of our participants, all our stuffed animals, will receive a special individual unique award and a little certificate certificate as well. So, well, lots of fun. Um, I will be there and my friends Miss Heidi and my friend Miss Amanda, who will be back soon. You may have missed her recently. I know we definitely have. Uh, they will be hosting that with me as well. Um, so you can sign up for that on wakefieldlibrary.org. It's on Zoom, so registration is required. And you can check out our website for some more information on that and information on how to register as well. And hopefully we'll see you there. So for now, let's jump right into our book. Let's see what our friend, Miss Yasmin, is up to. Meet Yasmin. Yasmin, the Explorer. Chapter 1. Ancient Maps. One afternoon, Yasmin sat reading with Baba. A long time ago, explorers used big paper maps to find their way, Baba said. What's an explorer? asked Yasmin. Someone who discovers new places, an adventurer, Baba said. Yasmin looked at the maps in Baba's books. They were straight roads and curvy roads. There were lakes and rivers and forests. I want to be an explorer, she said. Well, then the first thing you'll need is a map, Baba replied. Yasmin clapped her hands. I'll make a map of our neighborhood. Good idea, Baba said. Yasmin found crayons and paper. She drew their house. Down the street was the market. Near that was the park. This is excellent, Jean, Baba said, using his sweet name for her. Soon, Mama came in. Yasmin, I'm going to the farmer's market. Want to come with me? Yasmin jumped up. Yes, it will be an exploration. She could hardly wait as Mama got her hijab and purse. Don't forget your map, Baba said. Every explorer needs a map. Chapter 2, The Farmer's Market Mama and Yasmin walked down the street to the farmer's market. The air was fresh and smelled like flowers. This way to the market, Mama, Yasmin said, pointing at her map. The street was crowded. There were people everywhere. Hold my hand, Yasmin. I don't want you to get lost, Mama warned. Their first stop was the fruit cellar. Mama bought strawberries and bananas. Yasmin sat down on the sidewalk and added the fruit cellar to her map. Their next stop was the bakery stall. It had all sorts of breads, and they all smelled delicious. Thin ones and fat ones, big ones and small ones, yum. Two naan, please, Mama called out. Yasmin added the bakery stall to her map. 
there were so many good smells and things to see. Yasmin saw a man holding balloons. Down the street was a lady selling roses. An ice cream truck was parked at the corner. Finally, she found what she was looking for. The playground. Yasmin was itching to explore. Mama, the park. I'll be right back. Chapter three, a map to the rescue. Yasmin ran over to the swings. Swings were her favorite. Up, up, up. Then she headed to the sandbox. She would dig for buried treasure. Yasmin was having so much fun pretending. Then she thought of something. Where was mama? Yasmin looked around, but there were too many kids. Uh-oh. Yasmin took a deep breath. I'm a brave explorer, she reminded herself. I can find my way back to Mama. She still had her map. She unrolled it and studied it. Hmm. She looked towards the man with the balloons then the lady selling roses and the ice cream truck. She saw the fruit cellar where mama bought strawberries and she saw the bakery stall where mama bought the naan, but no mama. Yasmin told herself not to cry. Explorers don't cry. Then she saw mama's blue hijab. She ran toward her. Mama! There you are, Yasmin, Mama said. I was looking for you. You must tell me where you're going. I did, but you didn't hear me. I'm sorry, Yasmin said, crying in relief. Let's go home and make dinner, Mama said, and hugged Yasmin close. Baba will be waiting for us. Yasmin nodded. Next time she went exploring, she would take her map and Mama. Yasmin, the painter. Chapter one, the announcement. On Monday in art class, Ms. Alex made an announcement. We're having an art competition on Friday night. I hope you all enter. The winner will get a special prize. Everyone was really excited. Everyone but Yasmin. Yasmin was worried. She wasn't very good at art. Her circles were always lopsided and her hearts never looked like hearts at all. What's the prize? Ollie asked. That's a surprise, Ms. Alex replied. Yasmin frowned. Tuesday evening, Baba came home with a box. Yasmin, I have a present for you, he called. Yasmin ran downstairs. What was it? A new puzzle, a craft kit? Baba helped her open the box. Oh, Yasmin said. Paints. Yes, for the art competition on Friday. Look, there's an easel and a canvas too, Baba said. Yasmin wrinkled her nose, but she said, thank you, Baba, and took the supplies upstairs. Chapter two, Yasmin makes a mess. On Wednesday after school, Mama showed Yasmin videos of famous artists. There was a man with a bow tie painting trees. There was an old woman painting mountains. Yasmin thought of her own messy, ugly artwork. She sighed. Oh, I'll never be as good as they are. Mama smiled. It's okay, Jean. You only have to try your best. Yasmin still wasn't ready to paint. On Thursday, Mama said, Yasmin, finish your schoolwork while I make dinner. Yasmin watched the video of the man with the bow tie again. He made it look so easy. She decided to give it a try. She set up the easel and paints 
and tried to copy him. The tree was easy, wasn't it? <sighs> no. Maybe a little flower? No. Her pictures look nothing like the ones in the video. Yasmin stomped her foot in frustration. Oops! Everything scattered around her. What a mess! Then she noticed something. Yellow paint had splotched on the top part of her canvas. She thought it looked like the sun. She took some brown paint and splashed it on the canvas too. Then she splashed some blue paint, then some green paint. Soon, Yasmin's idea was taking shape. Chapter three, competition day. On Friday night, Mama and Baba walked with Yasmin to her school. It was weird and exciting to go to school at night. Ms. Alex had decorated the cafeteria with balloons. Welcome, children, she said brightly. I can't wait to see what you've created. Yasmin had a strange feeling in her tummy, like a hundred soda bubbles popping. Principal Wynne was the judge. He looked at all these mountains and Emma's basketball. He carefully studied each student's work. Hmm. Yasmin pretended to drink her punch. Mama squeezed her shoulder. Don't worry, your painting is beautiful. Soon, Mr. Wynn tapped on the microphone. The winner of the competition is... Yasmin Ahmad! Yasmin couldn't believe it. Her splotchy meadow painting had won. But wait, what was the mystery prize? A man entered the cafeteria. It was the painter from the videos. Yasmin, so nice to meet you, he said. For your prize, I'll be giving you painting lessons next week. I have to warn you, I'll probably make a mess, Yasmin replied. He laughed. Don't worry. I will too. And that's where we're going to stop for this week. So we still have uh, Yasmin the Builder and Yasmin the Fashionista coming up in our story. So we'll finish up Meet Yasmin and her different adventures and trying on different hats and just testing out different things and activities. And we'll finish this up next week, uh, Wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Um, and again, if you are interested in signing up for our stuffed animal pet show, that's for kids in preschool, kindergarten, elementary school, you can do that on our website, wakefieldlibrary.org, and hopefully we will see you then. I'll see you next week, everybody. Bye!